In this video, everything you need to know when visiting Tenerife in May. Not only the weather, but also what to expect exactly, what's going to be opened and what's going to be closed, where you should best be staying on the island at that time of year, and also if it's actually the best time for you to go or not. And if we figure out it's not the best month for you, don't worry, there's also a full guide in this video to when exactly you should be visiting Tenerife. If you are traveling to Tenerife in May, know then that the average temperature for the high end is going to be 23 degrees and on the low end is going to be 17 degrees. But I do clearly want to say one more time that these are averages, so there's going to be plenty of days, it's going to be much warmer than this as well. May together with June and July are the sunniest months on Tenerife with on average 14 hours of sunshine each day. When it comes to rain in Tenerife, well, May is one of the first months in the year that you're very unlikely to see any rain. Normally there are no rainy days in this month and if there do fall a little bit of rain then this is on top of the mountain or in the north of the island. So it's a very good time to go if you only want sunshine. In May, the temperature for the sea or ocean water in Tenerife is 20 degrees, so that's still a little bit on the colder side. If you don't like this, opt for a hotel with a heated pool, which Tenerife still has quite a few of. In May, all the parks on the island normally will be open in Tenerife. All the major water parks, all the zoos, everything there is to see and do will be open. And it's also a pretty good time to go because normally there are not so big crowds on the island and most of the parks are much uh, quieter at this time of year. Also, when it comes to bars and restaurants in Tenerife, most of these will remain open in May, except some smaller bars in some of the smaller destinations might take a little break after the Easter holidays, but normally expect pretty much everything to remain open on the island. If you're coming to Tenerife at this time of year to go clubbing or partying, then definitely you want to be in Playa de las Americas, as some of the other destinations on the island might have a lot of families with small young children or maybe some older generation. At the beginning of May you can still find a lot of great budget deals, but later on the month the prices start to change as we are heading in towards the high season and then a lot more people want to visit the island and of course the prices go up. So if you want to look for a budget deal, start to look in the first weeks of May. Taking into account pricing, weather, but also what is open, the following are the best destinations in my opinion on the island this time of year. These are Golf del Sur, Costa del Silencio, Palm Mar, Los Cristianos, Playa de las Americas, Costa Adeje, Playa Paraíso, Callao Salvaje, Puerto de Santiago, Los Gigantes, Puerto de la Cruz and Santa Cruz. Hi, my name is Eve. I lived, traveled and worked all over the Spanish islands for the last 20 years. So definitely if you want to have the best holiday possible, have a look at these videos as well and subscribe and click the bell notification because once a week I come online here live and answer all your holiday related questions live here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe, click the bell, then you are informed next time I am live.